The city council met today to consider supporting a resolution introduced in the House of Representatives designating the Lunar New Year as a federal holiday. The holiday is the most important celebration for the Asian community and takes place in either late January or early February. In 2015, the city designated Lunar New Year as a holiday for public schools. And this year, the Lunar New Year will be celebrated on January 22nd. And just in time for the Lunar New Year, an art and charity project called From Chinatown with Love. Young artists help long-established merchants get attention and keep growing their businesses. CBS 2's Dave Carlin shows us how it works. Art is everywhere you look in Chinatown. Colors, shapes, and sounds infused with joyful traditions and extraordinary craft. Young artists from everywhere find inspiration here. We're taking our generation's um, interpretation and spin on that tradition as an opportunity to also connect with businesses that have been in our community for a long time. Ali Rosa Salas of Abrams Art Center met with us at the Chinatown headquarters for the WOW Project where the two art and community groups joined forces to create this eye-catching calendar, handcrafted charms, and these small, beautifully illustrated storybooks about a pair of resourceful rabbits. The work of five artists, including Sing Ha Han. So we have the Good Fortune Charm, the Bunny Ceramic Bead, the silk pouch, which was also made with fabric from one of the businesses. And in here. We have the little story, the zine. That and you That I illustrated. illustrated, yeah. Excitement grows for the year of the rabbit, signifying an abundance of health, happiness, and prosperity. The rabbit is exciting because it feels to me like a lot of good fortune and a lot of hope. Beginning January 14th, a week ahead of the start of the Lunar New Year, these free calendars with purchase are handed out at numerous Chinatown shops. And at these five Chinatown locations, something extra special. Customers who come into these businesses and spend $45 or more will be gifted the fabric pouches with the good luck knots, charms, and illustrations. Channel visibility to those businesses. Owner of Eliz Photo, Chunika Kesh, tells us the art brings extra attention to her business. That's how they find out about us also. In a way, they have come here to support us as well. A great example of art and community allowing younger and older generations to brainstorm and succeed together. In Chinatown, Dave Carlin, CBS2 News.